This is his origin story. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Legacy Evolution Origin Jazz. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front here we have Jazz in his alt mode, Origin Autobot Jazz Buzzworthy Bumblebee, because reasons Transformers. On this side of the box we have Jazz, on this side we have just... Some other characterizational images up top. Legacy Evolution on the bottom. Words, things, barcodes on the back of the box. You have your obligatory product shots. You have the Evo Fusion. That's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Origin Jazz. And yay, my target finally decided to stock something. Jeez. And it, this was the only one on the shelf, too, so one of the few times in life I can say, lucky me. But anyway, he is finally here. I finally found him. And here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode. And a very cool figure, if I do say so myself. And I do, because I'm the only one in the room right now. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his belly, at his noggin. Hey, noggin. There it is. But a very nice jazzy head sculpt. Looks very good. Nice silver for the face there. Blue for the visor. Looks good. Of course, you got the chest piece there with that blue. All about symbol front and center. You do have some trans clear and blue there for the headlight nipples. And we do get some pretty nice details throughout. You got the gray there on the belly. And the typical color scheme that is the Jazzmeister. Got some nice gray going down the legs. You have some darker gray here on the toes. And you got some chunky calves. That's okay. He doesn't skip half day. That's all. That's all. Doesn't skip leg day. And it does have a bit of a backpack going on, but all in all, not too shabby. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly right. You can look up, do a little bit of squirrel. Can look down some. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. Can move in and out. You also get some forward and backward movement as well. Uh, you get bicep rotation. 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrist, just inward movement due to transformation. Uh, you do have waist rotation. Legs. They can move forward that far, back that far, outward. Can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. Uh, slightly under 90 degrees of bend at the knee just due to how thick those calves are. As far as the feet go, they can't move up. The toes can move down again due to transformation, but hey, it's a thing that moves if you need it to move, and you have lots of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, you do get his... Blaster right here, just cast in black. And you also get this little grappling hook hand. That is in two pieces, you can't pop that off if you want to. So you have that going on. Now as far as how you use these things, obviously the gun, he can hold in his hands thusly and pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff. Now as far as the grappling hand, you're going to fold in either hand, works on either side, Plug that in, like so. You can pew-pew, grab, grab, pew-pew, grab, grab, and all of that good stuff. And another thing we can do is the, uh, the Evo Fusion, and we can just take the grappling hook off and just plug it onto the barrel of the gun and do that. You know, grapnel gun. Why not? Dare I say, why not? You can plug the whole thing onto it if you want to, if you don't want to have this, this piece just sitting here by itself i mean the whole thing can plug on so you know, hey do what you want as always it's yours display it however you wish i don't care i don't care you do what you want or you can just plug it eh. you can just drop it that's also an option options they're good anyway you have a port back here you can just take it and plug it onto his back again nothing really elegant going on it's just going to be sticking up but hey it's storage if you want storage but you know another thing you can do if you want to do it i'll tell you what it is i'll tell you oh i'll tell you i'll tell you it is blush compatible yes it is blush compatible oh yes so we can take siege jet fires effect parts my favorite one and we can do a big old origin Origin Blush for Origin Jazz. That's right! So there you have that. And now for Comparus Hunt. Here he is with the uh, Studio Series Jazz. 
just so you can see how that works out. And here he is with the Origin Bumblebee. So you can see how these two look together. And they look precious together. Very, very precious. So, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, and I think it looks quite, quite good. I'm um, very nicely done, in my opinion. Um, on my copy, anyway, all the joints are like nice and snug. It just feels good and solid. I know people will complain about the uh, the hollow forearms, but other than that, man, I mean, nice, solid figure. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take the backpack here and just bring it up. Just kind of thoop in the place here. So kind of unthoop it, bring it up, take his head, rotate it 180 like that. Then take the chest piece and that will untab and come up on a double hinge to cover up his head like that. Next thing you're going to do is take the fists, flip them in, flip them in, and then you're going to rotate the arms inward at the bicep, just rotate them in 90 degrees on either side like that, and then bring the shoulders forward, and the hinges do move backwards, and you just want to leave them angled out like that for now. So once that's done, we're going to take this windshield section here, just bring it down, and it will just snap down into place, like so, and then you can bring all of this forward and down, there's a little tab slot connection right up in there for that, just line it up. Tab it in, and there you have the front of his alt mode all done. So now for the legular region, what we're going to do is flip in his toes. We're then going to open up this side panel here. This does hold in very securely. Open! Open! There we go. Open that up. Flip out this panel, and then close this back up, and just leave this panel hanging out like that for now. And second verse, guess what? Just like the first. So flip that in, and open that up. And flip out this panel, close that back up, and at this point we can take the legs and tab them together, make sure everything is nice and frozen. And once that is done, we're going to collapse the legs in. The legs are on a double hinge, so you're basically just kind of pushing the knees up and in. And once you get that going, these little blue tabs will go underneath this section here, so just line everything up, push it all in, like so, and... You got that done, and you have these little black tabs right there that will go into slots in the wrists. So you have everything sitting just right, and they should just drop right in, like so. And the last thing to do is just close up these panels here. Just snap those in. It helps if you just kind of pull up the nose a little bit, and then you can just drop that in, like so. Get everything nice and squozen. And there you go, there you have Origin Jazz in his alt mode. Oh, baby. Yes, that's how Jazz does. That's just how Jazz does. Come on now, that was a good one. But there he is in his G1 Cybertronian alt mode, and it looks quite cool. It works, it works. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. We got some gray right up front there with some nice blue Autobot symbol. Nice trans clear and blue plastic for the windshields and windows. Love the shade of blue, as always, just really pops. Got that blue on the back, a big old spoiler in the back. I guess these can serve as thrusters. Oh no. Looks quite nice, and there is the top, there is the bottom, you have visible chest to sit, yeah, no, whatever. And he does slide, like sliding things should do, hooray, for sliding space vehicles. I mean, they do kind of supposed to like hover around, so, you know, hey, it works, it actually works out wonderfully, wonderfully, beautifully, as it should, like I said. Then for comparison, here he is with the Studio Series 86 Jazz, you can see how he looks with his Earth Mode self. And here he is with the Origin Bumblebee. So now Bumblebee has someone to origin with. Hooray for origining. Now as far as the accessories, you can store them on the alt mode. Um, if you really want to, you can just plug all this together and all this can just sit on top. Looks kind of weird, but things you can do if you want to do it. There's also a side post on this gun, so you can have it laying a little bit more flat. Again, things you can do if you want to do it, but per the instructions, they want it up like that, and I think that does look better, but hey, you can do what you want. As always, your toy display however you wish. But the grappling hook, 
There is a port right in here. Don't know if you can see it, but there's a port in there. You can just take that and pop it in like so. And all that just tucks away out of the way like so. And there you go. You can get such a good spin out of him. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. And if you want, you can bring in more blushes. That's right, even more blushes. We can plug in, you know, two back here. It's a little bit crowded, actually. We keep, we 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 need to we need to shorten these up a little bit. Clear some room here. There we go. That works better. That works better. That's more nicer. That's more nicer. And then you plug this <laughs> right into the gun. There you go. All kinds of blushing. Yay! So there you have Origin Jazz, and uh, yeah, nice figure, solid figure here. Um, the robot mode looks really good, the alt mode looks really good. Again, just really solid feeling figure, at least my copy anyway. All the joints are nice and snug, it just feels really good. Nice, smooth, fluid transformation, all in all. Very, very pleased with this guy. Really, really happy with him. Now we need Wheeljack. We need an Origin Wheeljack. Yes, make it happen. Hurry up! So there you go. Now this figure is a Target exclusive, so good luck. Hopefully your targets are better than mine at stocking new merch. But you can also get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers, a buzzworthy Bumblebee Legacy Evolution Origin Jazz, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face. Jazz, Jazz, come on. We gotta get out of here before the Decepticons track us. No, oh, come on now, Bumblebee. There isn't a Decepticon to be seen around here. We're fine. Don't mind me. I'm just an innocent lamppost. See what I tell you? We're fine! Someone remind me again why we can't beat them. <laughs>